Wow. Harlem, New York 2019 was absolutely amazing. One of the things that really, really stuck out to me this particular missions trip was the unity and the bond that we had with Shalom Outreach Ministries as well as Mount Gilead. We all came together as one big team, one big family, and we all accomplished the goal of winning souls for God. And it was just simply amazing. We were set up out in front of the church and it was a huge park out in front of the church and everybody was out grilling and barbecuing and doing their own thing and they heard us preaching and teaching and we did a play and everybody started you know stopping what they were doing at the park and kind of lingering and getting closer and closer walking across the street and then you know some would come smiling and saying what y'all doing what you have going on some came in tears you know what must i do you were talking about me that spoke to my heart it was just amazing you know how they just kind of gravitated to the word and you know, we just all fellowship. They came over, they prayed with us, they sang songs with us. And it was just amazing. Just that whole little interaction was so profound and how, you know, it's, it's just how God moved and how he worked and planned it all out for that particular event. When um, I was ministering on the corner of uh, 125th and Lenox, I was doing um, a mime to the Lord's Song by Miranda Curtis. And as I was ministering, um, there was a lady that was recording me with her cell phone. And um, the Lord just kind of drew me to her. So during part of the song, I began to minister her uh, directly. And as she was recording me, she began to kind of break down and cry. And so as I was ministering to her, I believed that the Lord was touching her and touching her heart. Um, and when I was done, the other members of the team were able to kind of come in and pray for her. And I believe that she received some deliverance that day. And that was one of the most touching things for me to be able to minister to someone um, face to face like that. And um, just to be able to kind of help break some things in their life. Once we split up into teams, we were told um, as we were walking to our corner, which is 25th and Lenox. This is the hot spot. She said, listen, you're going to see a lot of things that go on on this side, and this is why we're here. But it's interesting enough, that didn't frighten us. We was like, okay, thank you for the briefing, but we're going out here to do what we're gonna do in the name of Jesus. So when we got out there, we were actually, it was people everywhere. So we were actually climbing and weaving through people. So by the time we set up, we stayed there about three hours. From the time we got there to the time we finished, that whole block was clear. So it was amazing how the move of God just showed up. And as a matter of fact, we actually came back the next day. We had to cross over to catch another train in that area. And, and the, the, the area was still clear from what we did. So you can definitely see the move and the power of God in what we did that Saturday. And it actually inspired and motivate, motivated me and made me realize this is why you do missions. The word says it best like this to me. He said, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray to the Lord of the harvest that you send laborers to the field because there's a lot of people that want God and want to hear about the God we serve. But there's not enough people that want to give them who he is or want to put him on display. So that's what we did. And it was interesting enough, this was not our territory, but we took it. For the first time, I did my ministry on the streets of Harlem. And at first, it was kind of, mm, I don't know if I can do this. I don't really feel comfortable doing this, being in the streets with my makeup on. But I remember the words of my pastor, and that was, we're not one step behind anybody else. It's okay. God has equipped us. He gave us that boldness and that confidence that we needed. And so I just went out and I ministered accordingly. Harlem, New York. Operation Spiritual Thunder 2019. Harlem, New York 2019, Operation Spiritual Thunder. All right, so for Operation Spiritual Thunder on that Saturday, we actually were able to win 75 souls for the kingdom. 75 souls gave their lives to Jesus through the missions. 75 souls for the kingdom, and that was just truly amazing. I first just want to thank Pastor and Co-Pastor for just even entrusting me and sending me on this great mission. I am so honored and blessed that Pastor Scott T. Sanders and Co-Pastor Cynthia Renee Sanders thought enough for me to send me. I want to 
thank pastor and co-pastor for this opportunity to um, go to Harlem's Mission 2019. I just want to thank pastor and co-pastor Sanders for thinking highly enough of me. And it was debt free. I'm thankful that we were able to go debt free. I was sent debt free and it's just something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. Not only did they send me, but it was debt free.